So, Hammer is a series created by Jay Odin and published and serialized on Saturday AM. As of writing the script, there's two volumes out, being The Ocean Kingdom and Fight for the Ocean Kingdom respectively, with Volume 3, The Jungle Kingdom, expected to release in March 2023. I'll be reviewing Hammer's first arc split into Volumes 1 and 2 along with splitting the review into parts at a respective volume. But for this video, I'm just going to be talking about the prologue, so next video I'm going to be talking about chapters 1 through 6, that's in Volume 1. Okay, let me start talking, let's get to the point. Before even opening the book, I have to give credit to that logo. So the first detail I want to point out is the H in hammer being the head of a hammer, along with the A having a nail instead of just a normal triangle, and finally the R is Stud's swirly hair. Actually opening the book, you can assume the personality of Stud without having to read a singular line, which is a good thing because any story told via sequential art should be understandable at a surface level, because an author can't just blatantly tell you everything going on. I mean, if that was true, it might as well just write a novel instead. Now, actually reading the page, you get a faint idea of the world, such as mutant creatures and abnormal powers. Moving into the actual prologue, we find Stud on his own hunting for food, which should make you feel like there's some fishy, because what 13-year-old boy hunts for food with no supervision? Anyway, I find the awakening of his powers to be somewhat predictable, however, I still like how it happened because we can draw a conclusion on how the powers work based on what we already have. It can't activate under stress and which Dud was heavily under while trying to forcefully awaken his powers. It isn't until where his life could have ended before it really begun that his powers revealed itself. An important point I purposely didn't directly mention is the fact that Stud's father is gone a lot of the time, and his mother is missing. It places a greater picture on Stud's character. He seems to be a happy-go-lucky type character. It's also very clumsy, which is true, but with a deeper layer of sorrow and the feeling of neglect. When arriving at New Mallet Town, he's ignored and seen as a weirdo with no father, or parents for that matter, furthering my previous conclusions on the character. Also, these pages here are particularly touching. Another conclusion can be made about how Stud's ability works in the following pages when he picks himself back up. To use his powers, he must have a positive outlook on really anything going on. Stud was able to improve while still having this, quote, positive aura around him, which completely contrasts the previous assessment in which he couldn't even get his powers to work with a more negative aura. Oh yeah, there was a one year time skip. In that year, he got better with his powers and was able to use it at a surface level, even though his powers on paper seemed useless. Wait, where have I heard this before? I mean, J. Odin himself did say that One Piece was his favorite. Anyway, I get the same vibe as One Piece when I read through Hammer, and I know this series is going to be going on for a while, so, uh... Alright, that's enough of me talking. There's some specific thing I didn't mention. I just kind of felt like that wasn't really worth mentioning in a video like this, so... If you like my review, then leave a like. If you didn't, I guess dislike. Comment down below your opinions. Subscribe to the channel. Also, follow my Instagram link below. And I'm out of here. Peace!